All right, it's time for me to show you my latest build, number two, right? This is my 1967 BW Bus Deluxe, right? And I just finished it. It's 100% electric. And I want to run you through everything that I got going in here. All right, so I decided not to completely restore this bus for now because, of course, uh, this is going to be my daily driver for 2020, in which time I will be restoring this bus, right? So I can only do one at a time and I need one for my daily driving needs. So this is, I decided to make this one basically just reliable and fun but just the basic necessities i didn't buy the new seals for everywhere you know if they get really annoying maybe i will go back and start doing some of that stuff but this is uh just the bare basics right i did get nice wheels and good suspension because obviously that is very important when you're gonna be driving these buses are not the safest vehicles that you can drive. And so to put in this brakes all the way around, uh, this one has Willwood calipers and this brakes with 911 Porsche Fuchs, right? Those are just for looks, but this is a very common setup for BWs, right? And so that's what I got going here. Now on the inside, it's pretty stock. I wanted to go pretty stock and I actually went through a lot of trouble of putting it back because it, the dash here, for example, was cut and it had too many modifications that I essentially had to buy a brand new dash and put it in there. Something that is not stock is one of these, right? These didn't come with cup holders, right? And so because I want to use it for my daily needs, like to go and get uh, lunch and stuff, and I usually need a place to put drinks and they never had one and I don't really like what's out there in the market. So I had to come up with this one. So there you go. Other than that, you know, this is a stock, uh, everything else. I, I went through a lot of trouble to get the lights set up, you know, with the hazards. This is one of the first years that had hazards, uh, lights, wipers, uh, gauge. I, I didn't hook this up to anything, but the idea is to eventually one day hook that up to this system right which is the battery gauge it's a android dashboard and there is a way that you can connect that and have this run and it tells you when the battery's full and when the battery's empty but i guess we're gonna do that later um other than that i did get the very necessary safari windows there we go see you can you can now uh when you crash, you can go through this hole and land on the hood of the other car. <laughs> it's a very, very necessary option here for these buses. So I got those on here. And of course I got a radio because I don't like the way this dash looks like without a radio. Now these are original radios. They don't no longer work. You can get some that work, but it's too expensive. And you know, the sound that comes out is not that great. So instead what I did was I just uh, installed the, uh, just a cable right that goes all the way to the back to a bunch of amps and speakers and stuff and this is a bluetooth uh radio so i just have to turn it on and connect it to my phone and then i can play music there are speakers in here you can see them so they're hidden they're facing down and there's another one over here on this side so that's where my sound is coming right so even though it looks pretty stock like there's nothing there there are uh, two big speakers so one in here and one over there and the sound comes out of there and we'll play some tunes later on to show you how that sounds but other than that i didn't really restore much here i got some new visors new you know mirrors and stuff that's about it uh yeah work through all of that oh yeah this is right here my heater i do want to install that heater on the bottom or you know find a heater that i can put in there and then uh, it'll come out through these tubes here and then through the defroster the here for the thing but of course this is california it doesn't get that cold so this is not a top priority right for my daily driver if i have time later this year i'll tinker with that and do that but as of right now that's you know 
Uh, other than that, of course, I converted this to a walkthrough because I like walkthrough buses. This originally had a wall here and one bench seat, right? But that was cut and it was already modified. And so I just, to fix it, I just went ahead and bought these bulkheads and all the metal necessary, including these seats to put them in there. Right on the back here, uh, I put an original interior, original style interior, right? Um, they didn't have all the parts the same color, so I got two colors here, but I thought this is just temporary. I'll eventually change this to match the rest, and that will match the uh, headliner that we'll put later on as far as seats. These are also temporary, so that's why they're black. They don't really match the... the uh, the rest of the interior but that's okay because these will go uh, on my other bus right and now that I'm using this seat I'm thinking that I'm gonna change it because it doesn't make sense to have a full length seat because once you close this door then you know you're there's a walkthrough way here right but then you get stuck in this seat and you can't really go to the back seat and so what the most common option for this years were to have a three-quarter seat so the the seat would stop right about here so it's a little shorty seat and you would have this area here to go back all the way to the back and so that's i think that's what i want to try and uh, i have one seat that i purchased already and i'm looking for another one for the other bus and for future buses right as far as the floor goes i am just got the original rubber mat in the back here's where the sounds are at right this is an amplifier these are some speakers uh like sh little shelf speakers and then those are subwoofers right and those are zip tied up into the seat because i wanted to see if that would work if i could still have some storage space underneath it and and have a decent a sound system right and it seems to be working um i don't know if these are loud enough i think it maybe they're gonna be but i guess that's what i will test this uh in coming months when i'm driving on the daily and so that's where we're at let's go right on the back here of course this is where the uh, spare tire goes i don't have it yet i have decided how i'm gonna go with the spare tire and of course this is uh just luggage area right i do i'm gonna put a carpet in here and then what ends up happening you just carry a bunch of junk back here right which is great but it's also not that great because then your car is always messy but uh now at least this area is not being taken over by batteries like it was before and the reason for that is because now looking down at our motor this is a pretty similar setup than we had on the last bus in fact it's the same uh motor that i had on my other bus right um but the batteries are here there's six of those modules here and so of course now and they don't have to be up there in the luggage area this is uh, the two chargers set up right here there's one back there and one in here charges at seven and a half kilowatt and so we'll charge this in like good six hours or something like that right of course now we have our main disconnect switch that is our main contactor and that is our shunt that is well, that's a hall effect sensor that basically measures how much energy is going back and forth into and out of the battery and then this is our controller here curtis uh 1238 right which is 96 volt system with our ac50 motor and our little uh, liquid cooling system right and of course on this side dc to dc and then that's just a regular lead acid battery Now on the front, everything is pretty much stock, right? Stock lights, uh, the bumpers, everything is stock. There are some modifications on the bottom. Let's crawl down there to see them. 
all right here's the bottom and that is disc brakes and wheel wood calipers all the way around right and so then that right there is a wagons west beam that's a custom made from the ground up beam so it's not original they redesign uh, and reconfigure you know from new metal and then they use some parts from from the original buses right but this is a more modern design this is from a bay window era so this is a 70s era ball joint uh front beam which seems to carry a little bit more weight and it's supposed to be a smoother ride right and so that's why we put it here but it's pretty much all new the the master cylinder there for the brakes is brand new all the linkages are everything is brand new and then this is the steering box that's also modified what i did is i shortened it and then i change the uh the frame here to push it up about an inch and a half which then makes it not stick down and so this usually sticks down a lot and so this is the first thing that hits usually on lower vehicles like this but once you raise it up an inch and a half then this becomes you know the trend the the bumper becomes the lowest so then it'll it'll drag here and not there which is the bumper is not really essential thing driving equipment right so it's better if it if you banged up this then you do that right and so of course it just makes uh less likely for you to drag on the street and back here you get to see all the batteries right here's one one of the modules and then there are six more modules in the center there and of course i will make aluminum plates to cover those moving forward but right now they're just exposed there and basically there's uh, 24 kilowatt hours of battery on the bottom floor here plus another 20 kilowatts over there in the gas tank area so that's what makes up our whatever like 48 kilowatt hours or something like that that this bus has and that's what gives us about our nominal 150 miles of range now with all that said i say we take this guy for a ride Now in the past, my viewers have expressed the desire to hear what a DIY car sounds like. So for your listening pleasure, here are the sounds of a DIY electric car. I want to thank you for watching this video and I want to remind you that if you're interested in electric cars or converting your very own then you might consider attending this year's fully charged live event this is happening this next weekend in Austin Texas so if you're anywhere around Austin this is the event for you I will be part of two sessions uh, I'm gonna be a panelist 
with another five or six people that I have that have experience converting cars and we're all gonna be talking about the conversion process. I also have my very own 30 minute session in which I will be discussing creating the perfect classic car. And of course, I'm gonna be talking about the experience that I learned on all my conversions from my personal vehicles, including this one, as well as all the other cars that I've done for customers while working at a conversion shop, right? So if you're interested, I will see you there. Until next time, bye.